Yeah. Rune, bonjour. Hello. Voila. Today we're gonna do an appetizer. Uh, perfect because we are all in lockdown. So what else to do? Have a good beer and a good snack. So today I'm gonna make chicken wings. Amazing. Everybody loves wings. And today I'm gonna make crispy wings. So we need some wings. And to make them crispy, we need a bit of flour and baking powder. Very important, baking powder. Because we need baking powder. Bicarbonate, don't use this. Throw it away, fuck it. I'm gonna make it in two steps. First, we're gonna slow cook it in the oven at 140 degrees Celsius. Afterwards, we're gonna bake it on a higher temperature, on 220 degrees, to have it the crispy little jacket. So, what we need? Chicken wings, baking powder, flour, salt, pepper, and that's it. You can add, add some spices, curry or paprika or yeah, garlic powder, whatever you want. But today we're gonna make it easy going. First of all, heat up your oven at 140 degrees. And then we're gonna cut our chicken wings in two pieces. So we're gonna cut, cut the chicken wings in half, so it makes it easier to eat. So approximately in the half, you can feel, we're gonna cut it right here, just between the two bones. And then we're gonna dry it on a paper towel. If your chicken wings has the little tip of the wing, you cannot really use it. Well, maybe some people likes it, but they don't like it. Just cut it also from the wing, keep it. You can boil it and make a nice chicken stock with it. And you can froze it and keep it and yeah, for the next time. So in the meantime, my wings are drying in the paper towel. I'm gonna make the mix, a bit of flour, baking powder, salt, pepper. Well, I'm gonna make it a bit of spicy. Again, I'm gonna use my go shitty. And for the color, I'm gonna use some paprika. So take an oven tray, put some aluminum foil. I'm gonna put the grill just right on top. So it makes it easier to clean with the aluminum foil at the end. And then just put the chicken wings next to each other on the grill. So the chicken wings are in the oven. 120 degrees to 140 degrees. Easy going, so the fat is gonna drop uh, on the tray uh, down below. I'm gonna put it for uh, 40 minutes. See you later. Le vier vuurde van zeggen ze dat Pierre fritters. Een Brussel, kieke fritters. Een Dilbeek, konijn fritters. Hey, kende jij nog zo een paar andere dingen? Je toujours commenter en dessous, hè? Another fun fact: why Brussels is the capital of Europe? Well, that comes after the Second World War. All the politicians, they went to Brussels and they said, yeah, now Brussels is the capital of Europe. Allez, l'union fait la force. Et l'union est en foot aussi, hein, si. Et quand même aussi un peu les deux hein. Parce que les deux hein, comme mon patron dit, c'est la meilleure équipe de Bruxelles, et même en dehors de là, hein. Et même encore plus loin que ça, hein. Et encore plus loin. Allez, moi le but. Huh? Getting thirsty of all that sporting stuff. Allee, santé aan zich. Voilà, een goede dreschke, wat bakjes aan zich. Stay hydrated.
meantime, I'm gonna make a small dip with a um, half sour cream, half mayonnaise, with a bit of uh, curry, and also a small salad with um, chicory, apple, um, cucumbers, and a little bit of uh, lemon. The lemon is gonna keep the apple and the uh, chicory white. If you don't do that, they're gonna turn black or brown. So this time for the salad, I already made the chicory rolls, but for the salad, I'm gonna take out the middle um, because it's better. Et comme on dit toujours, smoogelijk, bon appétit, un frais tendu de sexe in Brussel. Merci, au revoir et bonsoir. Made by a Belgian chef with a French accent.